Vladi and Margaret, and we really enjoy creating innovative products. Among our hobbies are e-bikes and camper vans, and we like customizing every little detail that we can, which leads us to the ultimate van build and our cyberbike. And one of the most unique aspects of both of these things is how we have integrated 3D printing into every single corner of these creations. We have the privilege because of the internet to be creating things and sharing with the world. So we can be the ones innovating, creating cool motorcycles or electric bikes. And then people don't have to go through the hustle of modeling and figuring out how things work. We can just deliver them video guide, parts list, and the models so they can just 3D print their own models and assemble their bikes home. We're a family of tradies and we can for generations create absolutely anything with our hands. There's a lot of limitations though. A lot of small parts take way too much time and become kind of a, from a prehistoric age when you see the finished result. So in order to get some custom parts, we would be walking around hardware stores for hours, searching for a product that has the feature we need so we can cut it out and mine it from that product to use it for our purpose. That's exactly where 3D printers change our lives. It completely changed the direction of where we go as a tradies and options we have. We actually love 3D printing so much that we decided to incorporate one in this camper van so we can be 3D printing everywhere, all the time. So when we are actually on road and we are prepping for the comeback back to the workshop and we're already 3D modeling some parts for the production, it actually goes me as far. Because when you have a model and when you don't actually see physical object, it changes the game. You always need to have the prototype in hand to discover another path where to take the model. So that's why we are incorporating one of the 3D printers in our camper van. This is fully removable. This all will be fabric. This is in a prototype phase. 3D printed hinges, uh, magnetic held, and the whole 3D printer can be taken out, maintained, or closed behind acrylic glass and you can just see what is going on. This whole enclosure is temperature controlled. So we don't have to be smelling any ABS or any PLA inside of a camper van. So one suction goes here, ventilation goes out of the van and it stays controlled and we still have a good climate inside of the van. So this monitor will actually be mounted here. And the whole reason for doing that is so when we have our desk, everything can be controlled from location the door can be closed. But one of the coolest things about having this 3D printer in the van, it's all leveled and supported and mounting down. So we will be printing while driving. So the purpose behind this is when you're living in a small space is you're, we're trying to like emulate what would be a window. And so this is actually our curtain and one of our massive prints. And all of these are 3D printed to be able to stop at any level. So you can spy out, you can see all of the curves all supported and then all the way down so here's a few of my really favorite 3d prints that just help living my life much better so for example these handles for scrapers are pretty expensive and just so unnecessary to pay $100 for a handle that I can model in a few minutes. Then we have things like the covers for our security cameras that are all mounted on the van. Different covers for different cameras depending on what we need. Oh, one of these was an amazing product that is a conversion from a 380 volts to 230. We have been living and traveling out of vehicles for years. We're obsessed with tiny living. And one of the most important aspects of tiny living is taking advantage of storage opportunities. So we have modeled and designed multiple different types of storage units that fit inside of the door. And they're all connected by these pins. So you put the pin inside, click it all together, and you have this insane modularity. You can make these of any size. We have bigger ones, we have a massive one, we have small ones, they're everywhere. 
Besides building things, we like to create content, and that means that we need a lot of tools that support that. So for example, we made this stand that has a light that can go right in there and be pointing at any camera or any direction we need. This is the door, opening door for the charger wire on our cyber bikes. And we just print all these separate because then they beautifully click and uh, magnets hold the door closed forever. Kind of a small scale project and unimportant for most people. But for me, on a daily basis, this is a game changer. That now I bought these cases for all the parts, all the material you need. And now I can actually be customizing them based on smaller or bigger parts we store in them. So having all of these compartments on a daily basis, worth it. I have a time before Prusa and after Prusa. So I have a setup of three MK3S's and they work absolutely amazing for me. Big benefit is that I can be 3D printing big parts on a three printer separately so I actually cut the printing time in third. With my productivity level, one 3D printer would definitely not be enough. Three printers help me so much more because I can be, for example, prototyping on one, finishing print on a second one, and printing a template for the cutout on a third one. 3D printing to me is not just a job or something I use at work, it's just daily inconveniences. And for me, now at this stage is faster to model and print then even go and search online. We have already included 3D printing in so many different aspects of our vans, already doing these back doors, the side door, the ceiling, the curtains, but we are really only just getting started. There is so much more to do in this van, as you can obviously tell, which means we have a lot of 3D printing coming up.